the name itself of this building, Stevenson, is iconic in the northeast, and really we had a lot of context to work with. The main drivers were to to, to provide 21st century facilities for our staff and our students. It's on the edge of the city, it's a gateway, but it's also right in touch with nature. There are trees touching the edge of the building almost, so it's been a, a, a complex negotiation with the likes of the, the council, with the, with the client, um, in terms of how we, how we get the building to, to sit within that. Listening to the stakeholders is absolutely fundamental in any project but not, not more so than this project, the Stevenson Building. There were so many different stakeholders, so many different departments, so many different user groups, so many different researchers and academic staff and students that were all coming together for the first time in one really fantastic hub. But the challenge, the process of getting there has really been to take these um, differing demands of these differing, you know, we're looking at things as diverse as um, uh, microscopes that can focus on a single atom, to um, five ton cranes that are moving around huge pieces of steel, to testing equipment that's smashing pieces of steel to test strength. So there's lots of complex demands for these, all these different disciplines. Working those through is really, um, it's an incredibly rewarding, very uh, challenging process, but it's, um, it's something we've, we've, we've all really enjoyed. All of our major developments are obviously moving towards that, that goal of um, zero carbon by 2030. Um, and this was the first building that that framework was used exclusively on. The vision was to create a space that was reflective of our vision for engineering in the 21st century. Engineering that is inclusive of all voices, that is about people and not necessarily technology and about bringing different disciplines together to tackle um, some of the world's most uh, pressing challenges like adapting to climate change and transition to net zero. We've got to be um, clever in our job sometimes just to just to try and make the building as sustainable as possible for future as well. So uh, making the, the building as, as adaptable and easily adaptable for future requirements means we're going to use less materials throughout its building life. It means it has different functions. If the course changes, it's easily adapted and changed uh, to meet different requirements. So that, that's embedded within the whole design. We're drawing people into the building from different parts um, of, of the economy. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting school kids in here as well, um, just to, just to uh, really experience engineering as this in inclusive thing. Everyone that I've brought into the space um, during the sort of final phases before completion has been blown away.